Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm your host, Rob Mattis, and on this episode, we got something a little bit different. We have model sculptor, actor, Jeff Yeager. Jeff was kind enough to talk to us at Wonderfest 2006. He's been around for a long time. Let's hear what he has to say. Hi, my name is Jeff Yeager. I'm an actor, a sculptor, and a model enthusiast. And we're here at Wonderfest 2006. And this is examples of some of my work that I've done over the last 20 years. Uh, I've been a sculptor for 20 years and kind of started when the garage kit industry was in its infancy. Any of you out there who were Aurora enthusiasts, who all got the models when you were kids, I did the same thing. My father and I built those on the kitchen table and uh, it kind of has a real resonance for me and, uh, and I developed a real love for these figures uh, through the association of building these, uh, these kits with my dad. And uh, one day, about 20 years ago, uh, I have a lot of time on the set when they're lighting. I have a lot of downtime, time we spend in our trailers and we don't have anything to do. So rather than uh, sit around and chat on the set or read books, I decided to do a little sculpting and thought I'd try my hand at model making and uh, found that there was a real hunger for it that I didn't know was out there. There were a bunch of guys out there who were just like me. who were real enthusiasts, uh, even though we kept it in the closet or whatever. And it actually, the model kit business or the garage kit business, which is a very odd little kind of niche in the, in the collector's hobby, uh, in my opinion, spawned a multi-million dollar industry, which now exists uh, for collectibles and toy figures and movie action figures, all of which have come into their own in the last 10 years, really. Uh, and studios and, and large corporations are aware of this. So this was all started by the love that we had and the enthusiasm that we've had as a kind of uh, subsect of society, uh, uh, people who collect and, uh, and continue to do so to this day. So that's kind of my background, how I got, the uh, first thing I ever did was called The Curse of the Werewolf. It was a little, uh, little one-six scale figure that we used to do in a, in a thing called LW101 resin. Um, I just sculpted it, cast it at home, bring it into a, a shop called Kitcraft, and uh, they took a look at it and said, yeah, we'll put it in the window, we'll see what it does, and uh, within an hour it was gone. The next day they called me and they said, do you have any more? I bought them 10 more, and in a week they were gone. So we knew almost immediately that there was a very distinct market for this, uh, kind of underneath the surface of society. People hide out in their basements. We call them basement squids or, or uh, aurora fights. Or, uh, but they're out there and they're thousands strong, and we're, uh, we're happy and proud to be here at Wonderfest, and this is kind of the culmination where everybody comes to celebrate this great hobby and this unusual funny art form and this, uh, this hobby that I love. So thank you very much for coming, thank you for listening, and model on. We'd like to thank Jeff, and if you've never been to Wonderfest, check them out on the web at www.wonderfest.com. They update their website after the first of the year with new guests for the next year. They've got a lot to offer. It's a great show. It's huge and we have a great time. Thanks again for watching. If you have a model or a website or something you'd like us to review or talk about, please give us an email at modelcitizen at charter.net. Thanks for watching.